Hi there, I'm Jeanette Lane, a craft designer at Craft Stash, and in today's video, I'm sharing how to add a spooky spider web to your projects. So here's the card that I've made, and if I tilt it slightly, you can see that cobweb spider web detail here that I've added to my card. And I feel like it's just a little something to add to your Halloween makes to really make them spooky and just add some festive fun to your projects. To make your spider webs, you're going to need a heat resistant craft mat, a glue gun, some glue sticks, and also some acrylic glues. I prefer this liquid adhesive from Cosmic Shimmer. It's a dry, clear glue, and that's what's going to help you adhere all your little spider webs to your projects. So here is my glue gun. It's plugged in, it's ready to go, and I do have a glue stick in there already. And this is just a sticks to glue gun, and you can do this with any glue gun. Now the trick is to get a really fine strand of glue going. Now the trick for this is finding the right pressure for your trigger, because you don't want a big glop of glue, so you don't want a big thick strand of glue. You want a really fine strand. So here we have this nice strand going, and what I'm going to do is just grab it down here because it's cool now. And I'm going to pull it slightly and also blow as it's as I'm pulling. So I'm going to blow to cool down the glue. So a few things to remember with this technique: make sure that you're using a heat-resistant uh, non-stick craft mat, so that as you collect your spider webs, they're not going to stick to anything. So you want to make sure that you're able to pick them up easily. So please use a non-stick heat-resistant craft mat. Now another thing to note when you're pulling on your glue strand, your thin glue strand, make sure that you're pulling far away from the nozzle. So don't put your fingertips on the nozzle, you will burn yourself. Notice that I'm doing it kind of about like three inches away from the nozzle. This glue strand has cleared, it's cooled down. So as I'm pulling, I'm not pulling from up here where the nozzle is because it's hot up there. I'm pulling it down here where it's cooled down and I'm blowing in this area here so that the glue cools as it drips. Now, if your strand ends up breaking, that's okay. You can just try again. Really, this is a lot of trial and error because the trick is finding the right pressure, trying to get that really thin strand and finding the right pressure on your trigger to get just a really thin web-like strand. So here are my spider webs, and this is great to add to your stash so you can spend an afternoon making some spider webs and then just ball this up and put it in your stash so that you can use it on your projects. And it's just really easy. See, it just comes off of the mat and you have a little bundle of spider webs. Now to add it to your project, all you do is just grab, pinch a little bit off, and it's really stretchy and really realistic, so it's really fun. And then you just add it with your adhesive. So you just put a little dab of, dab of, dab, <laughs> dab of glue and you can tuck it behind an embellishment and add a spooky detail to your project. So you can add as much spider web detail as you want to your cards. So you can go heavy handed with the webs or just keep it light. And I love how easy it is and how inexpensive it is and quick it is to add this spider web detail to your cards just using a glue gun.